Last time. Last time. Now, when most people find themselves dealing with state police in the middle of Arizona for a little bit of skateboarding, their heart might skip a bit or two. And I'm not saying that our heroes in this little story were doing anything they weren't supposed to be doing, but I will say there's a reason these Santa Cruz boys are some of the sharpest shooting, steel nerve, and clip getting fellas these parts have ever seen. And if anyone can get themselves out of a situation like this, I'll be damn sure it's this group right here. Out of hundreds of stories that could be told from this trip, this current situation here might just be the most memorable one. But I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let me start from the beginning. This idea of going on a quest to find a concentrated vortex energy that has both spiritual and physical healing powers ain't necessarily something you think about when it comes to a group of city slicking skateboarders. But I tell you, sometimes the greatest treasures in life are those you least expect. And if I know a thing or two about these boys, it's that they're always up for a good adventure. Which is how we find ourselves here, at the beginning. And when you're at the beginning of a trip of a lifetime, one thing I've learned is that the journey is going to be just as important as the destination. And that on that journey, your carriage is going to be the one thing you rely on the most. Room for you and all your friends? Check. Full service kitchen and fridge? Check. The power to drive and get you anywhere you need to go on that dusty trail? That's a big old check. From the start, this journey was said to be something they would never forget. your home cooking needs, bring your crew, your oh, gang. The world. They got TVs on yeah. here. Yeah. Life's okay. pretty great, dude. I'm gonna drive as the people in the places <laughs> people meet. <laughs> as you can tell, this crew likes to have a good time. Nothing was gonna get in the way of that, not even Johnny Law himself, who actually ended up not being such a bad guy. So our three bandits might not have been running from the law the rest of the trip, but I'll tell you what, I'm sure as hell we're skating like it. Closing in on their final destination, the crew had become more and more aware of the journey they were completing, both physically and mentally. Now, I'm not one to get all that spirituality crap, but watching them boys skate that skate park the way they did out there, I feel like there might just be something to that energy vortex. Energy that just might manifest itself into something you ain't never seen before. <laughs>
just like that. An epic journey comes to an epic close. But as they say where I'm from, the road goes on forever and the party never ends. See you out there.